Hello, welcome back to our channel traveler. Today we will be crafting Senua from Hellblade. You should start now. Let's grab something cozy to drink before we start. I lay out a sheet of baking paper so that the femur will not stick to my cutting mat. I prepared the sketch of Sino's actress Melina Jürgen so that I can take easy measurements for the face later. I then start to make base out of paper and aluminium foil for the face. After coating my base with polymer clay, I can finally start with the sculpting process. I carved in support lines similar to those I would use when drawing a portrait. This is my second time working with this material, so I went back and forth with watching tutorials and trying to get slowly closer to my reference. Working three-dimensional is far more difficult than painting for me. Okay, I think it's time for a break. I need some time away from my scalp so that I can look at it with fresh eyes. I was pretty unsure how much polymer clay I needed to add, so I just added a tiny bit again and again until it felt right. The eyes were especially difficult. Oh no, she ruined it. It's always there, just waiting to be seen again. I was looking forward to sculpting the iris so much. In comparison to the rest of the face, it was pretty easy and as you will see later, I am super happy with the amazing result I got. Time to snack some rooms. At this point, her face started to resemble Melina aka Senua a lot, and I was sure my idea will work. After baking, I sanded it down a bit. Now it is time for her headpiece. Some of you might know how cosplayers make their patterns for costumes. I used the same method here. I 
I use tape to get the shape of her forehead and then draw the pattern onto it. After adjusting the pattern, I need to build up the polymer clay on her head so that the headpiece can lay comfortably on it. Now it's time to get real and transfer it to polymer clay. For the ornaments on the centerpiece, I drew the general pattern on the polymer clay before making tiny clay worms and giving it more depth. I always like to just get started when I have something I'm excited about. So I hadn't really thought about how exactly I will make the plywood plate and the lights underneath the runes. Luckily I got some help. Here we are cutting a circle out of plywood so that Senua's head has a place to sit on. I thought it would be pretty nice to get a round plywood board that I can decorate similar to the Valraven gates. I thought glowing runes might look really spooky around Senua's head. I really appreciated playing the game, especially because it grants you a little look into how it feels to have psychosis. I hope there will be more games like that in the future, that incorporate mental symptoms so that we can understand each other better. Now that I cut out the runes, I paint the board greyish. I'm a bit lazy when it comes to certain things, so I just mix the paint and the plywood. To get rid of the brush strokes, I dab the board with a sponge. Now, let's give Sino back some life. I will use acrylic paint for that. I wanted to have her war paint look really thick. Therefore, I mixed some flour with paint and dabbed it onto her face. Sounds delicious. To finish the painting, I gave the headpiece some highlights and some metallic paint. Now, let's use some resin. I wore a mask and opened the window while working with it. Don't breathe it in. I first used some UV resin for the runes and the eyes. I poured small amounts of resin onto the iris and instantly cured it with UV light. 
After repeating it several times, I got a really beautiful eye shape. I used aluminium foil with hot glue where I poured the resin in the runes. That was a bad idea. I needed to sand the rest of the foil down because it fused with the resin. Now it's time for the final assemble. I drilled some screws into the board and used the thin branches to make a Valraven gate frame. Then I painted a red glow around the runes. When pouring epoxy resin, it's important to mix the two components thoroughly. I didn't. So I needed to pour three layers, which luckily worked. Did she see three layers? Why would she do that? I want Senua to emerge from the misty glowing resin. Therefore, I mixed some color into the resin to get a nice 3D effect. Now I need some surface to glue the LED lights onto. I just used some cardboard. Then I cut out little cardboard pieces as spaces between the cardboard and the plywood. I decided to glue the battery box with a light switch in the middle so that I can reach it perfectly. It doesn't work like that, Senua. How will you change the battery? There's no way. I drill some screws into the back of the plywood so that I can pin the cardboard through the holes I made to the front piece. Now let's turn on the lights and take a look at the final result. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See.